Grams. Hello, I'm Grams. Are you ready to have some fun and read? Awesome. Okay, go ahead and get comfortable in your favorite spot and let's see what we're going to read today. Today we're reading A Father's Day Thank You, written by Janet Nolan and illustrated by Kathy Ember. Today in our book, A Father's Day Thank You, Harvey the Bear doesn't know what to get his dad for Father's Day. Let's see what happens. Harvey did not know what to draw. He dangled his crayon above a blank sheet of paper. Just then, his sister tiptoed down the hallway. What are you doing? asked Harvey. Tomorrow's Father's Day, and I got Dad his favorite present, said Lorianne. How do you know it's his favorite? asked Harvey. Follow me, whispered Lorianne. They could hear Dad in the kitchen. He always cooked breakfast with the radio on. He cracked eggs and hum a tune. He'd flip pancakes and crank up the volume. And when the bacon was crispy, his big booming voice would fill the house with song. By the time breakfast was ready, it was either cover your ears or go sit down and eat. Lori Ann pulled Harvey into their parents' closet. See, Dad's favorite present, she said. Every year I give Dad a tie, and every year he says, a tie. How wonderful. I can always use another tie. Then he gives me a hug and says, thank you. And I say, you're welcome. After breakfast, Harvey played tag with the dog until he tripped over a skateboard and cut his knee. Dad scooped him up and carried him inside. Might need to operate, muttered Dad as he handed Harvey a popsicle. Then, as he cleaned up the cut, Dad told such silly stories that Harvey forgot to cry. Harvey thought Dad might like a popsicle for Father's Day, but figured if he wrapped one up, it would probably melt. After lunch, Harvey wanted to ride his bicycle, but his tire was flat. His older brother, Martin, took him down to the basement to look for the pump. What are you getting, Dad, for Father's Day? asked Harvey. The present Dad loves best, answered Martin. Are you giving him a tie? Why would I give Dad a tie? Follow me, and I'll show you what Dad likes best, said Martin. Harvey followed his brother to the storage room. See the nails, said Martin. Dad loves nails. Every year, I give him a box of nails. And every year, he says, a box of nails? How special. I can always use another box of nails. Then he gives me a hug and says, thank you. And I say, you're welcome. Harvey could not fix his tire alone. Luckily, Dad woke up from his Saturday afternoon snooze when Harvey hollered, Dad! Did somebody call for bicycle repair, answered Dad. Harvey held the handlebars while Dad filled the tire with air. When Harvey pedaled away, Dad stayed and watched to make sure the tire was safe. That evening, Harvey thought about Father's Day again when he stepped out of the tub and Dad wrapped him up in a big, warm towel. Harvey went looking for his oldest sister, Nadine. She was in the family room dancing to music Harvey could not hear. Nadine! yelled Harvey. Nadine pulled off her headphones. What are you giving Dad for Father's Day? The present he looks forward to all year, Nadine replied. Are you giving him a box of nails? asked Harvey. Why would I give him a box of nails? said Nadine. Open the cabinet and I'll show you what Dad likes best. Harvey opened the family room cabinet. See, said Nadine, Dad looks forward to getting golf balls. Every year I give Dad a box of golf balls. And every year he says, golf balls, how thoughtful. I can always use more golf balls. Then he gives me a hug and says, thank you. And I reply, you're welcome. Harvey trudged up the stairs to bed. All the wonderful, special, thoughtful gifts were taken. What was left to make Dad say thank you? Who's interested in a bedtime story? asked Dad. 
Me, me, cried Harvey, diving into bed. When the story was over, Dad smiled and said, I love you. He kissed Harvey goodnight. Harvey sat in the dark. He was not thinking about Father's Day. He was thinking about his dad. Harvey crept out of bed, picked up a crayon, and started to draw. On Father's Day, Lori Ann handed Dad a gift-wrapped box. What could this be, asked Dad, opening his present. A tie! How wonderful! I can always use another tie. Then he gave Lori Ann a hug and said thank you. You're welcome, she said. Martin gave Dad a box wrapped in newspaper. Dad shook the box and whispered, I wonder what's in here. He opened it. A box of nails! How special! I can always use another box of nails. Then he gave Martin a hug and said thank you. You're welcome, said Martin. Nadine gave Dad a bag tied up with a bow. What could be in here? asked Dad as he untied the bow. Golf balls! How thoughtful! I can always use more golf balls. Then he gave Nadine a hug and said thank you. You're welcome, she replied. Everybody looked at Harvey. He pulled a piece of paper from behind his back. Harvey held out his picture and said, Thank you for being my dad. Dad gave Harvey a hug, and then he said, You're welcome. I love what Harvey did for his dad, don't you? Something from the heart is always the best. I have an idea. Let's all grab some paper and crayons and draw a picture for our dads. Thanks for spending time with me today. If you liked this video and want to see more, please ask your parents to click the subscribe button. I'll post a new video every Thursday. Until next time, be kind and keep reading.